So a hot topic of discussion of late in the YouTube guitar community is why have Gibson guitars become less cool? Why are they your grandpa's guitar? Why don't the kids these days gravitate towards Gibson guitars? And why is Fender kind of pulling away when it comes to being the leading company that's selling guitars to young musicians, young players, young people who are interested in music and guitar and young people who are our pop music stars? Why are they gravitating towards guitars like Fender? Well, I think it has to do with three things. Price point, the look of the guitars, and more importantly, the sound of the guitars. This is not something that, you know, I'm the only person who's talking about, but I did come up with a poll a couple weeks ago before this conversation even really started, and I just simply said, Fender versus Gibson, who wins? I sincerely thought that we were gonna get a 50-50 split. I actually thought Gibson might pull it out. What ended up happening was is 90% of you voted for Fender. And based on my YouTube analytics, my audience here is relatively young. Uh, you know, 20 year olds who are interested in guitars, John Mayer, that type of thing. So to me, this is very indicative of what's going on in the guitar industry. So why is that? First of all, the price point. When you look at a guitar like this that has more in common probably with a violin or cello than it does with, uh, you know, solid body electric guitars, there's a lot of craftsmanship, a lot of time, a lot of woodworking skill that has to go into making something like this. This is a Gibson ES330. Um, it's the completely hollow version of the 335. But regardless, it just the fact is, is it costs more to make these guitars. And that is going to be prohibitive to a lot of people who are getting into guitars. You're not going to go for a two, three, or $4,000 guitar, in most cases, right off the bat for your first instrument to learn on. So right there, you've got a disparity between the two companies. Now, granted, Gibson does have Epiphone. They make the Les Paul, which is a solid body guitar they make a, a ton of different options for you that and and of course if you talk to somebody at gibson they would say we have tons of great beginner guitars whether it be from gibson or epiphone and that's true but i don't know if the marketing is as effective from gibson as it is from fender fender has really seemed to keep up with the times so to speak gibson it to me seems very legacy they haven't changed much the things that they've tried to change have not been successful you know new designs new technologies you know i think we all remember the uh, automatic tuning robot that goes on the back of the headstock <laughs> You know, things like that kind of failed experiments in trying to modernize the electric guitar. I don't know. It's not probably helping Gibson very much in this case. So, but to boil all that down price point, they're just generally more expensive. Another thing we mentioned is the look. This guitar is mid-century, uh, even before that, it looks old. And for a long period of time, vintage, looking old, things that worked really well in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, that's what guitar companies were going for. That's like the golden era of electric guitar is that. And so you see all these vintage reissue type things. You see stuff that's uh, purposely worn and purposely weathered and damaged, quote unquote, at the factory. So that's always been kind of the vibe. But I think you've seen a direction change in that. And one of the leaders in that is Paul Reed Smith. You see me talk about the Silver Sky. We all love John Mayer on this channel. But the Silver Sky itself sort of picked up and just ran with that concept, which is, okay, we know this works. There's been a lot of great stuff from the 50s and 60s, but what would it look like if it was designed today? And I think that's where John Mayer and Paul Reed Smith tried to go with the Silver Sky. They've said as much. What Gibson has done is kind of the exact opposite of that. And I think if they're going to be successful in the future, that's what they need to lean into, is being the company that can make stuff like this high quality, because we know they've had some quality issues over the years. But if you want something that's vintage inspired, if you want something that is not $70,000 because it's an actual 60s, you know, guitar, you can go to Gibson and you can get something like this that's really cool and has that look and that vibe. So Fender, though, if you look at what Fender's doing, the colorways that they have, the different newer guitars that they're putting out, like the Acoustasonic series that they've updated, because that came out a long time ago and it was really cheesy, but they've really kind of made them cool. And if you just look at Fender guitars, they look futuristic. They do. They look, you know, at the time, they looked like they were from outer space. This is much more regal. It's got the F hole, which you can see on violins and cellos. It's got this kind of classical look to it. And it screams a little bit, you know, get off my lawn guy. 
And I mean, I understand that. The Fender Stratocaster just has always been a little sleeker, maybe a little bit more high speed type thing. And I think that is benefiting Fender right now. The look just looks more modern. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think. So thirdly, I think it's the sound. And, uh, you know, Gibson guitars generally, I mean, not this one, these are single coil pickups, but generally are associated with humbucker, big, fat, thick sounding guitars. Um, and Fender has always been more associated with the single coil, thinner, more trebly, kind of quacky sound that you would get out of a Strat or a Telecaster. And that's where music has gone today. I'm talking pop music, you know, stuff that you would hear on the radio, uh, things that are topping the charts. You are hearing a lot of single coil, clean electric guitar playing that is a lot of times bypassing even an amplifier. We're just going direct into a recording console, direct into a recording interface. Back to the days of like Motown where they would do that. Just totally, totally negate an amplifier, just bam, right into the mixing board. And that's the sound that we're getting. And Fender guitars, single coil pickups just work better for that than these big, hollow, you know, again, these are not uh, humbuckers, but, you know, that type of sound just doesn't really work. And it's not in favor right now. It's not to say it's not going to come back at some point, because actually, you know, 10 years ago, who would have expected guitar in general to be coming back in the way that it is right now? I certainly didn't. Um, you know, you read articles at the time about how companies were just dying on the vine because nobody's buying guitars. But the last two years... Sales have skyrocketed. Now they've been toward a certain type of instrument, and that is the Fender solid body, bolt on neck electric guitar that quite frankly, I don't know if it matters if it's a $500 guitar versus a $5,000 guitar. If it's a bolt on single coil based kind of guitar, I mean, and it's built the right way, I, you can get what you need out of it, whether it's 500 bucks or 5,000. And I've done videos talking about that as well. So that's it. What is the future of Gibson guitars. Are they going to be around? They've been embroiled in bankruptcies and all sorts of controversy over the years. Fender's had its challenges as well, but currently right now as we're talking, Fender seems to have a better handle on what the younger generation wants from an electric guitar, and they are making headway in that direction. And they're really leaving Gibson kind of in the dust. As my poll has indicated, 90% of you again voted Fender when it came to Fender versus Gibson. So that's it. That's my take on this whole thing. We'll see how it goes. We'll see where it goes. We'll see if Gibson's inspired to do anything different, if Fender changes their strategy. Who knows? It'd be very interesting. I appreciate you watching the video. If you like this, check out these videos over here for more. Mm -hmm.